Let's shift focus then uh, and let's focus on bonds. Sovereign bond yields, they've tumbled after the Reserve Bank of India announced bond purchases of up to 10,000 crores to infuse liquidity into the banking system. Vivek Rajpal, the rate strategist at uh, Numur India, joins us on the line from uh, Singapore. Hi, Vivek. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. Uh, we're seeing a bit of a downtick on the yields uh, ahead of uh, this buyback of uh, bonds. Uh, do you believe that? Uh, are we done with that reaction or do you believe that the yields could fall even further? Oh, I think um, yields can fall uh, further. Mm -hmm. um, probably market has reacted to the news, but uh, what is more interesting is that um, uh, we uh, are likely to get more OMO purchases even uh, uh, even in the coming weeks. So I think that uh, the further decline in yield will broadly depend on how the technical factors play out. But uh, uh, the OMO announcement, uh, open market operation purchase announcement, and the expectation of further announcement will take yields lower even from here. Okay. So Vivek, what is the current liquidity deficit in the system and what could be the extent of more OMOs that we could expect the RBI to do? Actually, total system liquidity deficit is, uh, uh, is, is approximately INR 200 billion to 300 billion deficit, but uh, that's the total system. The reason banking system liquidity deficit is uh, much higher is because government is carrying huge cash surplus. Uh, so broadly, the number of OMOs or the total amount of liquidity infusion will depend on how the government spends money. But I think um, my rough estimate would be something like um, uh, INA 300 to 400 billion of bond buybacks uh, overall. So RBI has already announced INA 100 billion, for example. So 300 to 400 billion more? Yeah, a total of INR 400 billion, yeah. All right. Uh, In, for the rest of the fiscal year, yeah. All right, Vivek, could you give us uh, a range uh, for the yield uh, going ahead? Um, so I think uh, we should be broadly in a... 775, 760 range uh, for the time being, with uh, us likely touching 760 uh, uh, over a period of next one month or so. Beyond that, it will largely depend on uh, uh, many factors, uh, uh, macro factors, including, uh, including how the global risk sentiment develops. But in the near term, we should be in a broadly 775, 760. Okay, 775 to 760 is the range, but the yields could fall further from the current 7.70 because the RBI is likely to do more OMOs. Thanks, Vivek, for uh, taking the time out and giving us a quick update on what's happening.